Right. Uh, Ashwin, thank you so much for giving us the first take on Ashok Leyland numbers. I think we have uh, Siddharth Purohit as well with us. Uh, Siddharth, HDFC Bank, uh, what's uh, the first reaction of a little bit increase in the NPA? Yeah, the gross level has uh, really gone up a little bit. Uh, and it is after a, a, like, a long period that, you know, after many quarters that uh, gross NPA level has crossed that one. 1% mark for LGFC. So, little concern over there, but uh, what is important uh, from Kharim is to know that, you know, uh, whether this has come from the retail or from the corporate side. Well, uh, normally the corporate segment has been under stress, but uh, LGFC has been quite selective in the corporate learning segment. So, if it has come from the retail segment, then there could be a point of worry. Uh, otherwise, if you look at the broad numbers, like, you know, I think on the growth parameters, it has been more or less. Uh, Little less than expectations, but uh, not really very disappointing. And if you look at the, the balance sheet growth, you will see. Siddharth, can you just repeat that? If you look at the balance sheet growth? Yes. Uh, balance sheet growth, I mean, the loan growth has been close to 23%, and the profit growth has little, uh, was a little lower at 18.5% around. So, on business front, they have been uh, different enough. It is just that, you know, provisions has gone up. And I think, uh, as even the other speaker was saying, that LDC has a track of, you know, uh, coming back to their, you know, previous trajectory of uh, lower NP levels. So I believe that, you know, we need to obviously listen to the management. But I don't uh, believe that there is a major cause of concern uh, looking at this, you know, one-time uh, rise in NPA. So I believe it's a different set of numbers. But uh, just uh, to clarify for further relating uh, point of view, the bank will have to really... Uh, come back to the previous level of growth NPA and also uh, come back to the previous uh, level of uh, the growth rate. And let's say even they deliver 27% kind of growth in uh, Q4. So the growth has to pick up and credit cost has to moderate. Then in that case, possibly it can further see, I mean, kind of, you know, moderating. But uh, as of now, we'll uh, kind of, you know, uh, listen to the management and possibly then accordingly we'll raise our, uh, like, you know, target price on that. As of now, we will have a uh, like, you know, uh, put in watch mode on this song for the timing. Right, Siddharth, thank you so much for uh, joining us with the first reaction of HDFC Bank numbers. Uh, Ravikant, uh, always a pleasure talking to you. That was the first reaction of uh, most of the analysts on the street of HDFC Bank. Not that bad. They would want to hear to the management. We're taking a break. Coming back in two, both the stocks are absolutely flat.